Hello, fabulous people. It is Friday and I'm about to leave for the day and for the weekend to have a fabulous weekend doing some fun things or whatever I'm doing. But before I go, I wanna just show you around my classroom and show you some management and some things that I do in my classroom that are kind of nifty. Let's go. When my students line up, they line up in the hall here and they start at this rainbow and they can also see what we're doing for today. This is their reward, their class points. When they are good, they get a uh, color swatch. When they fill the whole thing, they will get a prize. The students will walk on this line here. It goes to the end over here. Usually we start on the carpet or they can start in their table seats. So if you're sitting at the table, you can look forward and you will see, are you ready? I don't know, are you? And then I also have my Timmy right here. This is Timmy the timer. And this has been the most fabulous management thing I've had in uh, my class. Mona Lisa is watching you and making sure you are meeting your expectations. Over here, I have my awesome drying racks. I just got these new ones. I'm so excited about. I usually put the teacher's box on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, when they're done with their art, if it's wet, it goes here. And if it's dry, it goes there. And then I'll place it all back in the box. And all the boxes are back here. Each of the classroom teachers has a box and it's full of their artwork. That's how I store their art. I used one of my old drying racks as a paper station so that you can um, choose uh, your paper. It's much easier when there's so many, uh, you know, shelves. I also have a, are you done? So these are the drying racks, are you done? If you're done, check off all these things and things you could also do. What else we got around here? Do, 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 do. My creation island. This is where students will get supplies and I have made open and closed signs on what they can and cannot grab during that time. This paper they can just freely grab as much as they want. My messy mats and my supplies and they go around. Sometimes I have specialty supplies, which is over here and I'll just have a do not touch, ask first or an open sign. These also are kind of specialty. Over here I only have one sink. So uh, I have the kids just put their dirty paint brushes in the paintbrush hot tub to chill out for a little bit or get warm. Because if there was like 10 people trying to wash the brushes here, it would be madness to just put your paint brushes in the hot tub. What else I got in here? Well, one of my favorite things is over here. This is the Art Star Rewards. I have a website that they will use their iPads to go to this QR code and I'll put their names, whoever's being good, in a little bucket and I may draw one at the end and they can get an Art Star reward. They tell me what sticker they want, that's what the prizes are, and then they bring it back to me and I give them stickers. So far only one person has received an Art Star, but I expect this wall to be mega full in the future. Once the students are done for the day, see their table colors here. They stand on these tape lines that match their table colors and they flow on out. I do have a reflection station. That's one of my consequences. That if there is an issue, kids can go to the reflection section and fill out a think sheet if they need to follow directions a little better or the rules. Over here, the kids can tap out how they think they did. Did they do a one, two, three, or a four? How did you do today? And they come over and they tap how they think they did for behavior and work and whatnot. A lot of people will just be like, yeah, four. But you know what? As long as they're thinking about it. And then you can exit and be on your merry way. Goodbye.